what comes to mind when you hear fighting words like kick, punch, and block. If you're like most of us, you envision some sort of fighting or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Enter capoeira. The hybrid dance combines elements of martial arts, South American and African rhythms, and spirituality to create a truly unique form. Two styles of capoeira, capoeira and gola, capoeira regional. The style that we do here is capoeira and gola. And the capoeira originated in West Africa. It was a rite of passage where young men can marry without going through the traditions of marriage. But capoeira had changed when the slaves went to Brazil or to the New World. And it took on a different, different, uh, uh, I would say, look for it to survive. And it mixed capoeira with a dance fight martial art. We as, you know, uh, 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 Afro-Brazilian or African-American people, we all came from the same source. They got dropped off over there, we got dropped off over here. So we had the same culture, the same mind, everything. You know what I mean? So when they develop capoeira over there, you know, we develop, you know, great dance and all our culture here. So really it's the same. You know what I mean? It's just something that came back to us when we put our mind and be creative. You know? All this stuff will come back, but the roots of it is, you know, this is from Africa. It's my way. Um, we practice the music in order uh, to drive the players within the uh, capoeira volga. Uh, we play capoeira in a circle usually, and we have. Um, the instruments, people who play the instruments, and then we have people who play uh, the game of capoeira. We call it a game um, when two people are doing capoeira together. Uh, how we feel when we're playing the instruments, the instruments, uh, it's, more, it's, it's more to uh, to it than just playing instruments. The instruments give you energy. Uh, the instruments make you feel good. Uh, the energy can go very high, the energy can go very low, it just brings in an, an uh, excitement to your spirit when you when, when you play the instruments. Um, we also sing songs. When they sing, they sing from the inside. You can feel the spirituality in this. You can feel the suffering of, of the Afro-Brazilian people, you know. And then if you look at them, you can see, you know, people eyes closed and, you know, and you can, uh, uh, chills and stuff come through your body. And even when I play capoeira, when you kneel down at the bend and bob, you know, you just get, you know, chills and stuff all on your body, you know what I'm saying? Because you can feel, and it makes you want to cry. aspect to capoeira, um, just the sound of it, the sound of the bedroom ball, the sound of the uh, go -go. Um, if you would just, um, as you're playing, um, at the same time, you just allow your body to relax, you're relaxing, uh, your, your body starts to move to the rhythm of the music, and uh, plenty of times I've if I've gone into like a state of just uh, just relaxation, you know. I'm playing the instrument, but at the same time, my mind is relaxed, my body is relaxed, you know, it's meditative. Capoeira and Gola, Capoeira uh, is spiritual, you know what I mean? For instance, even when we sing the songs, you know, we sing a song uh, about God, you know what I'm saying? My only deals became so ill, do the kill thing. And that song he's saying, God is great, you know what I'm saying? But inside of Capoeira and Gola, I find my own greatness. And then we go on to something called uh, Shula. And Shula is like when we get prayed, yeah, we got me with deals, yeah, can we see no, yeah, we got me with mastery, 
you know. And then they would go into some called Cogedo, and they would sing a song about Balani Dio, si yo saben que el jogo da mi padre. What he say, you know, he's talking about God. God give him the uh, the power to play capoeira and God. So the spiritual part is deep inside the capoeira and God. And you can't take that out because if you take that out, it just becomes all fight. He said, capoeira, uh, you don't choose capoeira. Capoeira choose you, you know what I mean? So capoeira has chosen me because what I'm doing, I couldn't do it without his chosen me, you know. Oh, this is my gift to the world. What an exciting story. Joining us to discuss this segment is student producer Demetrius Cheeks. Welcome. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. You had a really interesting story that you worked on with your group. So um, Capoeira seems a little bit part dance, part, part martial arts. What is it? Tell us the distinction. Well, the distinction is slight, but there is a distinction. Um, there are two aspects, basically, the martial arts aspect and the okay. dance aspect. Uh -huh. uh, the martial arts aspect focuses on self-defense, whereas the dance aspect focuses on things like spirituality, uh, the rhythm, the drums, and uh, the, just the positive vibes. And that's what we chose to do our piece on. That's a lot. That's a lot goes into it. So while you were observing the participants and the dancers, if you will, did you notice any coordination between the two of them? Like they kind of tried to stay out of each other's way, or did they anticipate each other's dance moves? What did you see? Well, I couldn't tell if there was any, you know, uh, anticipation of each other's moves. Mm -hmm. However, um, I asked one of the students, and I was actually told that, you know, there's no coordination. So uh, if you get kicked, you get kicked. <laughs> but uh, the way you defend against that, though, is getting to know your partner. Okay. And you both are in, in tune to the music, in mm -hmm. tune to the rhythm, uh, in tune to each other. And there's sort of a symbiotic relationship that keeps you from getting essentially kicked in the face. Okay, so I think you might know what I'm going to ask you next. As a student yourself, if you will, from working on this project, show us a basic dance move or martial art move. I would love to, Mallory, but I'm a lover, not a fighter. So the, uh, the I, martial arts I aspect. I saw you do something about this. What does it look like? Do I have it right? Is this kind of what it looks like? That's correct. It's almost like a matrix move, but you sort of have the. Oh, slow see, motion. you know. See, don't leave me hanging out there. I try. Well, thank you for joining us in the studio today. What was once the forbidden dance of African and South American slaves has transcended time, transforming itself into an artful skill practiced in D.C. and around the world. For more information about the Universal Capoeira Angola Center, visit their website at universalcapoeira.org.